Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com. This is my son Ben, the master taster of whiskey.com. And today we present the best whiskies we had at whiskey.com in the last month in June 2022. Mm -hmm. So we have four whiskey.com awards for June 2022. And looks like that I got the good ones. Oh, I got two good ones either. Yeah, this one was I tasted, I tasted, and we tasted together. together so yes, well. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have any ones that were really good. To uh, I enjoyed them, but uh, they were not that extraordinary that I would okay. give yeah, a reward was... for them. You only can take the best. Yeah, and for me, the thing is, uh, I'm not quite sure if that many people agree with me on the best one. This is kind of really my pick because I do like the George Dickel and I do like the George Dickel old. Um, how does it compare to the nine year old or the, what was it, special bottling? I'm not quite sure. That was like my really, one of my favorite whiskeys that I had uh, over the last decade. And not quite sure if it's that good, but I don't have anything, any of that anymore. So I can't really compare. Um, but it feels like a little bit less good, but it's still very, very good whiskey. The next one, Bladnock Alinta. Yeah, I had some Bladnock several years ago, but mm -hmm. this time somebody took it away. Well, <laughs> I had been there always, so. Oh yeah, you, you, you're excused. <laughs> you could have probably uh, <laughs> taken that one because I've never been to Bladnock yet. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, a lowlander. And it's Latinoc gets a revival, and this is one of their first bottlings. It's a a very nice smoky whiskey. Unfortunately, um, it's still a little bit more expensive as there is not that much out on the market. It's a new distillery, and that for that you always have to pay a bit of a premium. Yeah, I give it a, a special description. This is one of the very few, if not the earliest, or the, the only uh, smoky whiskey from Bladnock. There had been several, uh, several years ago, uh, the first release then mm -hmm. with uh, the new preparator and several others. And now this one, I think, is one of the very first smoky whiskeys from Bladnock. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next one was the Glen Fraglis, 30 years of age. I like that very, very much. And hopefully, here we have it. Yeah, we had a little miniature. That's why the bottle is still <laughs> unopened. So let's put it there. And yeah, you could have probably guessed that that, that will end up with the <laughs> with the whiskey.com awards for, for June as it's just a spectacular distillery spectacular age and just very good spectacular price <laughs> no not that expensive for a 30 year old one with yeah. a big name yeah with a very big name on mm -hmm. it so and uh well uh, now i have to disturb your arrangement <laughs> <laughs> because there's this rose bank at the fourth of four and uh this one is the 30 year old <laughs> and it's empty yeah, so it was good. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> Very extreme package and extreme whiskey. And Bladnock is revive, reviven, reviven. Mm -hmm. I think it's the right uh, conjugation. And uh, this was a very, very old, but astonishingly fresh tasting, good matured. But it's, it's rose, rose bag. Yeah, you just said uh, Bladnock, but yeah. Oh, rose I, bag. I did. Sorry. <laughs> It's the age. <laughs> yeah, but it's still very yeah. nice, nice whiskey. Very good. So mm -hmm. they just started production and this is from the old uh, Rose Bank before they closed down in more 1991. Two? 80s, 90s, something uh, like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is for this run for this month mm -hmm. we have four better than three less very than five. very nice whiskies mm -hmm. uh one of them pretty affordable the other ones a bit more high and super high priced right. yeah <laughs> okay so yeah that was it for the whiskey.com awards june 2022 thank you very much for watching and see you next time